Lake Douglas at the moment, part of Kalgoorlie. It's about 10 k's out and yep. it's free camping. You can stay there for Three maximum nights. 72 hours Three in nights. once in each month. So if you're really clever, maybe you'd do it at the end of the month <laughs> and then go away for a night and come back at the start of the next month and then you get six days. <laughs> that's, that's one way of looking at it, yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyway, so we've just got one to show you here from the lookout here. Um, we'll just uh, flick the camera around and show you that uh, in the distance here, these are not mountain ranges. <laughs> Let's mm. take a look. So these features that you can see in the background, that one kind of looks like some kind of step mountains this one over here <laughs> yeah and then the one across which looks like a huge mountain range that, one that there. is all the um that's the super pit the tailings from the yeah, super the tailings pit. from the super pit it, it's it's i mean it's formed they've formed a mountain range basically out of the out of the waste as you can see just down here just down in front of us there's another mine i don't know whether it's related to the super pit or not but it looks it's it's a big massive gold mine on its own right unbelievable so kalgoorlie was built on gold basically kalgoorlie and boulder and they were two towns very close together and they ended up amalgamating those together and now it's called kalgoorlie boulder <laughs> oh, so not in a the Kalgoorlie hand. super pit. It's pretty windy up here. So basically we're standing on a ton of Rubbish. waste material that's been pulled out of this huge hole. Anyway, so we're going to go and check it out. The first thing that you see when you come here is this huge scoop that, the, um, that, that goes on the front of the trucks or the dozers basically or whatever they are. Yeah, front end loader, whatever, whatever they are. Big massive To pull scoop. all this material up into buckets, into trucks, and then the trucks pull it all out of the pit basically, and it gets dumped on the walls and just creating this huge, like mountains of waste. <laughs> it's $1.1 million to buy this bucket. $1.1 million. Holy, holy. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Oh my God. Wow, check this out guys. Oh. There's the super pit. Check that out guys, look at that. <laughs> See this? There's a thousand tons of explosives in a month. <laughs> About 10,000 production holes, okay. I have honestly never seen anything this big before. Oh, the little holes in the wall. They're supposed to be all the old mines from the original way back in the 1890s, yeah. 1880s. Yeah. And they've just ended up joining, but look how far even they're down, those huge, look how far down they would have been. Yeah. All across there on about you that can see fifth over wall here. over there. You can see over here where the the actual mine wall has collapsed. Well, they've blasted it. No, they're big tyres. And Hilda's been walking around because there's the rocks on the ground and she's found herself some gold. Yeah, there's some little bits. You probably can't see You it. won't see them on this camera. But there are some little flecks of gold. Tiny little flecks. This is all their waste stuff. They, It's too expensive for them to bother processing these rocks because there's such a tiny little amount in there. but. There is actually some tiny, tiny, minute yeah. flecks. All right, so we're out on one of the abandoned nickel mines and we're going to be hunting for some chrysoprase. What's chrysoprase? Uh, like a shiny green gem. <laughs> right, huh? okay. So look for Another silica-based gem, basically. It's okay. a waste material, basically, that they've pulled out of the mine when they were mining the nickel. They didn't want it. It's just a waste product to those you know, big mines, and so, okay. but uh, makes a pretty gem, so. No, well, let's go and see if we can find some. Let's go see if we can find some. All right, this is not chrysoprase, but. Wow. It looks like uh, maybe a bit of white oak. It all here's seems a, a bit. Yeah, here's a piece here. It's almost like a moss agate, actually. That's actually moss agate. 
okay. Which I didn't know you could get here, but look at that bit. Hmm. Okay. And it's all in these rocks and seam. See the green? There's a little seam there. It's probably just a bit of rubbishy stuff, but we'll keep looking. But I can see lots of moss agate. There's another piece, so we might be able to find some nice moss agate here too. Different sort of colour and texture. Anyway, we'll keep walking, keep looking. Oh, there's some bits. That's sort of a piece there, so you've got that nice green seam in there, but it's only a little thin seam. You can't really do much with that. Oh, we need a nice big chunk. There's a nice, there's another little bit as well. So this is what we're looking for. See, like this green, but you want a big thick, we want a nice big thick bit. Okay. Can you see that colour? Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Ooh, look at all this, look at all the seams in here. Look at this rock. Wow, it's got like seams of it, little glass seams in between that have seeped through each part of the rock and all the different layers. <laughs> fascinating everywhere we go it's all different different materials and different rocks and rock hounding is fun isn't it Daryl? Um, <laughs> it's a good fun it's a great hobby rock hounding <laughs> yep awesome here's a vein of the chrysoprase going through here it's only a thin layer though we want a nice thick chunk <laughs> It looks like a, it's chalcedony. It's like crystallised and a, like a, yeah, sort of brown chalcedony. What have you found here? I uh, don't know. It's just unusual though. Oh, here's a nice vein of it through this big rock here. But we're looking for something a bit darker. Mm. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. What do you got there? Check out the nice calcidony on this rock. Mmm. <sighs> the hell reckons this one's got some nice calcidony on it, so. Not what we're looking for. Wow. Okay. Well, well we found it. <laughs> this, this is an That's, interesting colour. Yeah. So I don't know what nickel looks like in its natural form, really. So, but maybe it, uh, like an iron oxi oxi oxide. I don't know. Oxidizes. Oxidizes. Yeah. Or... Maybe. Uh, in its day, this mine was very productive, but lately, in the last few years, they obviously ran out of nickel. And, uh, yeah, they just left it open like this. So, once upon a time, this was a fully operational nickel mine. All that infrastructure <laughs> just going to waste. I guess they earned their dollars and that's it now, just sits here abandoned. Do you know how they process nickel, Daryl? No, I have no idea. I see like some tanks and things there and... Yeah, they're obviously using chemicals and shit. Yeah, I guess obviously it gets crushed first. Oh, that's just a big huge hopper. Hopper? Yeah, well, it looks like they crush it because this is all crushed well, here. Feeds it into a crush. Where our car is. It's at the of this. And then, yeah, this is all like fine dust here where they must crush it first to try and extract it. Big truck from back into here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Like a great big hopper. Well, this is our find. I think this is a piece of nickel, which is what the mine was mining. So that's what I think that is. Uh, yeah. The um, 
Chrysoprase normally should be a nice, very dark green. It's the favourite sort of one, but whether these pieces are any good, we'll see whether we can get anything out of them. It's probably not a bad piece. Got that um, translucent piece in it, plus it's actually got some dendrites which might make it quite attractive, so it's probably not a bad bit. We might get a couple of gems out of that piece. Um, Moss Agate. It's got a few holes in it, but I picked picked it up because it's got the mixture of chrysoprase through it, so I thought that might be quite attractive. Same as this sort of one's got the dendrites in it. Might come out alright, don't know. We'll have to chop them up and have a look. But anyway, that's our our find. Spent a couple of hours out there having a hunt around. But, and then I think we found some banded iron here. So that actually apparently polish, polishes up quite well too. And Daryl checked it on a magnet and it is magnetic. So... <laughs> So just checking, well, he just checked it with a magnet, so there we go, must be <laughs> magnetic. Not that bit though, I don't think, so whatever it's banded with is not magnetic. So that dark band there is the actual iron. Yeah. Yep. Cool. <laughs> driver to a guide for the next two hours or so as we have a look around Kalgoorlie Boulder, 1908. We're heading up the main street of Kalgoorlie, Cannon Street.
Um, where are we and what are we doing here? Well, this is an old classic Australian illegal game. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> That's only legal at the moment. It's only legal on one day of the year. But it must be legal here. I don't know. But we're here to check it out. We take a look. We're here to play. No, don't tell. <laughs> Keep it a secret till we go. You'll in. have to find out. <laughs> come on. Okay, let's go and check it out. So this mysterious game is all conducted in this wonky old <laughs> tin shed made out of bits and pieces of coro. <laughs> oh. I can hear lots of yelling. Okay. I reckon there might be bets involved and money. That's why it's illegal normally. Let's go and check it out. All right, let's go. Let's go see. Okay, so that was two up, guys. That was interesting. Look at all that money changing hands. Wow. We didn't just bet because 50s. we can't afford it. <laughs> it's just like... Just laying out the 50s. 50s. Yep. And not just 50s, like laying out 600, you know, plus bets. Yeah, so it's $50. And can lose 600 $50 bucks. minimum bet if you want to come and play two up. Yeah. Come to Kalgoorlie, about 10 k's north of Kalgoorlie. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. 2.30 it starts and $50 minimum bet so <laughs> if you got the cash go for it definitely thank you guys for all watching and supporting us for the last 12 months yeah if you love what you've been watching please give us a subscribe hit that like button and the notification bell and you can don't Follow you us won't on miss our out next on, video yeah won't miss out on the next video